Good morning, guys. We have got a new to us piece of equipment that I'm excited to tell y'all about and show you how it works. Um, this is a KMC better and fertilized distributor. Um, it came off of a tobacco farm and so it was set up for two rows four foot apart and I have uh, modified it a little bit. I've got it set up now for just one row. Um, it's got two distributors on it. I'm going to make it two row but as of right now the toolbar is not wide enough to uh, bed two rows on five foot centers like what we do. So uh, we're just going to run it as a one row for now. The fertilized distributor it'll it'll turn so I'm going to uh, do a little bit of additional lubrication to it and put some fertilizer in it and um, see if we can get it calibrated and go bed some land and lay some plastic. I've got these grease fittings. There is a grease fitting on either side of each um, fertilized hopper. And I've got all but two of them will take grease. This one right here, I cannot get it to take grease at all. So um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do about that. They say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So, uh, if these bearing, if I don't grease this because I'm in a hurry and I just run it, then when this bearing is going to go out, it's probably going to be in the middle of me trying to bed about 10 acres of plastic one day, and I'm going to have about four employees standing around waiting on me to lay plastic because I didn't grease it today. So we're going to take this grease fitting out and uh, drill the hole out underneath it and get it to take grease and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Fortunately this one wasn't too tight because that would have been a booger. Alright, you can see the back side of the fitting. The grease is going through the grease fitting. It's just this hole's plugged up more than likely from years not being greased properly. So what we're gonna do is a drill bit would work, um, but I just took a screw and I cut the point off of it so I can get the um, the threads of the screw to go all the way to the bottom. And you don't wanna get carried away with this because you don't wanna booger your shaft up because then you're kind of defeating your purpose. See all that goop that it just bored out of that hole? All that rust. That's the reason grease wouldn't go in there no matter how hard I pressed on that grease gun. Now she's taking grease. I've never, uh, never kicked this on, so we're gonna find out what happens together. I'm fixing to engage the PTO and see if these uh, fertilizer distributors will run. Sleep. They're turning. and the uh, the meters are running you can I don't know how well you can see the meters down in there but they're the cogs that are down in that square hole and I've got a got a handle on the back that is actually stuck that controls a gate that uh, determines how much fertilizer is allowed to go in each uh, the meter
here's how I'm gonna calibrate this thing. Um, it's real similar to calibrating a sprayer. I'm going to find the RPM that I'm gonna drive across the field and the gear that I'm gonna drive across the field. And I'm gonna drive across the yard a certain distance, which I'm gonna measure with a little rolling uh, wheel that I've got that measures distance. And I'm gonna time it on my phone exactly how many seconds or minutes and seconds it takes me to drive that distance, probably 100 feet. I know that there's 8,000 feet of plastic mulch in an acre. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna set a bucket under each fertilized hopper. And we're gonna run the PTO at that RPM for that set amount of time. And however much fertilizer is in those buckets, I'm gonna weigh it. And that's, we'll know that that's how much fertilizer it's putting per 100 foot of row. And I may have to come back and adjust the gates on it a little bit, but uh, we'll just multiply the, uh, if it's 100 feet, we'll multiply it by 80, and we'll know exactly how much fertilizer we're putting per acre. You follow all that? Several years ago, we had strawberries out here in this little patch beside of the packing shed. And uh, so I'm pretty sure these rows are 100 foot long. This is the wheel I was talking about, just like a surveyor uses. So I'm gonna double check that from one end of this to down there where the skid steer is, is 100 feet. I think that's close enough. both gates were set on 20 so hopefully we wound up with the same amount of fertilizer fertilizer distributors into one row um, that means we've got 5.9 plus 5.5 equals 11.4 pounds per hundred feet there's 8,000 feet in an acre so we're going to multiply that by 80 and that'll be 912 pounds in an acre we're shooting for for this particular crop we're shooting for about 500 pounds to the acre we should be able to figure out where to set our gates pretty close based off of this if we take 912 and divide it by 20 we're getting uh, about 45 pounds per increment on our gates if that makes sense we should be able to take 500, which is how many pounds per acre we want, and divide it by the 45.6 that we had. And that means our gates should be set about 11. So let's go back and set our gates at 11, test it again, and we'll be ready to go to the field and bed some land.
well that about does it for this we uh, got all these beds made up and we're ready to lay plastic on it fertilize incorporated into the beds I like that new uh, better pretty good but uh, it's about to get dark on us and about to get supper time so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time